So we're going to be starting our next sentence construction. Um, we've done two, both of them focused on um, when you use a comma with a coordinated conjunction that fanboys for and nor but or yet so. Now we're moving on to another problem that students struggle with a great deal and that is using a semicolon. Now there are a number of ways you can use a semicolon and some of them are quite complicated. We're going to focus on two easier ways that you can use a semicolon and students are intimidated by a semicolon. They don't, they, they don't know how to use it. A lot of adults are intimidated by the semicolon. This is the easiest way that you can use a semicolon, the, the most straightforward way. And the way that you use it is when you have an independent clause, which can be stand as it's, by itself as a complete sentence. Remember, independent clauses are adult clauses. They're independent. They can stand by themselves. And you're linking another independent clause directly to it. Students do this often with a, or attempt to do this often with a comma. Remember, commas are weak. They're not strong enough to link two independent clauses together. So, how do you do that? Well, use the semicolon. Let's look at our sentence model. We didn't even know she was sick. Semicolon. That's a complete sentence. That's a complete thought. It could stand by itself. Then, after the semicolon, we have, we had long since given up trying to get information on her. Now, this comes from a short story, A Rose for Emily. And it's talking about this woman who's a shut-in, and the community loses track of what's going on in her life, how she's doing, that sort of thing. And this is after she has died, and the community is saying, we didn't even know she was sick. Then we have the reason that the people did not know she was sick. We had long since given up trying to get information on her. These are two independent clauses. They can, you could have put a period here and they can stand as sentences by themselves. So why would I rather use a semicolon here? Well, it's not about as much structure of the sentence as it is logic. This second part is giving the reason we didn't know she was sick. And so they're very closely connected in idea. So that's when you would link two independent clauses that could stand by themselves as sentences. You link them together to show a very close relationship. And that's it. That is the most basic, easiest use of a semicolon. Now, I want you to be careful here because a lot of students want a conjunction of some sort. They'll want to add yet, or but, or so, or however, which is a different type of conjunction that we'll talk about in our poster four. We will talk about however, moreover, nevertheless, even though. We'll talk about those with semicolons, but we're not doing that right now. I want you to get used to just linking two independent clauses that, that have a connected meaning together without any added connection words or any conjunctions of any sort. But be careful. Remember, they do have to be logically connected. I would not put a sentence together that, that said, for example, flowers are beautiful, semicolon, Lava is hot, period. Structurally, that's correct, but it's not correct in logic. Those two things have nothing to do with each other. Um, so, the next practices, you'll get the image, and you will brainstorm, and you will have to write a compound sentence using a semicolon. I encourage you to look back at the poster while you're doing it so that you're making sure you're not adding words here that are conjunctions or that you've got dependent clauses. They must be able to stand as sentences on their own.
If you have any questions, email me and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can.